everybody. The 13th annual Boeing Classic Golf Tournament just wrapped another successful year with rookie Jerry Kelly taking home the $2.1 million prize. That sounds like that could come in handy. It was one of the best fields to compete in the PGA Tour Championship and or Champions, and it also raised a lot of money for research on autoimmune diseases. Here with us is Boeing Classic's new tournament director, Brian Flagel, and also the president of Benaroya Research Institute, Dr. Jane Buckner. It's good to have you both here. Thank you. So, Brian, this was your first time with the Classic, right? Yes, this was. Uh, I, I actually lived in Seattle before and moved away for about 25 years and just came back. So well, thank you for coming come home. Thanks. Yes, so. ab absolutely. So it takes place up at TCP Snoqualmie Ridge, which is wonderful. How'd it go? It went great. Uh, I mean, I couldn't have been happier, and I think for everyone, whether that was Boeing or uh, BRI or, or Virginia Mason, everybody was very pleased with the outcome and certainly had a great winner, first-time winner on the PGA yeah, Championship. Yeah, a tour. rookie. A rookie. And, and and as you said, won some money, and then actually two weeks later came back and won another event. So I guess we really? got, him on, got him off to a great start. Well, he should write you a thank you. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, is not an exhibition tournament. No, this is actually, you know, part of, there's about 20, 23 um, PGA Champions events mm -hmm. uh, across the United States, and uh, this happens to be one of them here in our backyard of Seattle. It's all the top players, Freddie Couples, Bernhard Longer, all those type right. of players, 50 and older, who uh, most of us know from playing on PGA Tour. But if the prize is $2 million, they are going to play their little <laughs> hearts out. Um, so what role do the sponsors play? Because it's so important. Well, I think it's the lead sponsor, obviously, is Boeing, who has just you know been so involved with this community. And so they're really the backbone for us to raise the money that we are able to raise for um, Benaroya Research Institute mm -hmm. at Virginia Mason, uh, as well as a couple other local charities, First Tee of Greater uh, Seattle and Pete Carroll's charity. So they're really what helps us get to those goals. Uh, and every year we try and increase that. Right. Um, we've Last year it was about $600,000. We're hoping that in the future we can reach the million dollar plateau of, of raising that kind of money. You will. Dr. Buckner, what does the money go for? Well, you know, at Benaroya Research Institute, we're really interested in autoimmune diseases and allergies. And our goal is to translate really basic cutting edge research discoveries that we do to the clinic to actually transform people's lives with right, the goal right. of preventing curing diseases. So what does this money go for? This type of money um, allows us to do the new things. It helps us uh, support junior investigators to bring the next really exciting mm -hmm. investigators. It helps us buy the most up-to-date and modern equipment. And then that gets us over the hump to do some of the most exciting right. research. That then we can apply straight to the clinic. Now, tell me if I have this right, but what I understand this to be is, is sort of the seed money for ideas, that if you get a grant, it's for something specific, you have to do that. But this money is the money where you can swing for the fences, try new things, and where a lot of breakthroughs come from. You're, that's a beautiful description of what this money allows us Thank you. Us that's to it, do. everybody. There Bye. You go. <laughs> I'm hiring her. No. Um, yeah, so we actually have these, um, you know, water cooler type ideas where mm -hmm. we're standing around talking and we can say, someone has a crazy idea. This allows us to say, let's try it and find out if it's crazy right. or brilliant. So it does that and that's where the really exciting things happen. It also helps us buttress the next application for a grant to say, yeah, it's worth doing this. Um, and it also lets us do some things where we know there's something really important, let's say a new technology we need to apply. Mm -hmm. We now can look at single cells and we can read what their DNA is instructing each individual cell in the body. It took money from the Boeing Classic to invest to do that. Mm -hmm. And now we can go out and apply it to many diseases and get grants for and it. What, when you know that about the cell, what can you do? <clears throat> well, that's what's so exciting. We can take individual cells and understand what's different about the ones that cause disease. And I know a few weeks ago you had one of my colleagues, Eric Wambre, who just discovered one of these cells. Mm -hmm. It's called a TH2A cell. That's the bad guy in allergy. By doing individual studies of those cells, we know why they're different from the good guys, and that means we can target therapies to beat back the bad guys and keep the good immune system working. Which is just amazing. And when we talk about autoimmune diseases, I think people are pretty familiar with allergies, but the range of autoimmune diseases um, is pretty expansive. Can you go yeah. over those? So there's over 80 autoimmune diseases, and they actually affect one in 15 Americans, mm -hmm. but people don't realize they have autoimmune diseases. Thyroid disease, 
lupus, multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's disease, uh, type 1 diabetes, all of those are autoimmune diseases. They're all connected in terms of what causes them, both genetics and environment. Mm -hmm. We think by studying all of them, which is what we do at BRI, when we find new things about one disease, it's gonna impact all of these right. diseases. Right, and all of this is coming under the umbrella of immunotherapy? Absolutely, and that's a big topic right now because of the application of cancer. Yes. And we think that's very exciting, and um, it really partners with what we do well. But immunotherapy is going to be applied actually very much to autoimmune diseases, and, and we're excited about being leaders in that area. And it's an amazing idea because we, you know, if you've had cancer or something like that, you feel like your body's attacking your, you, and if your body could heal you in that same way, that would be, you know, a miracle. So thank you for the work yes. that you do, and thank you for the, the golf that makes the money that lets her do what she's doing. We'll have information on the Boeing Classic and BRI on our website for you. Go and look at it. It's all very interesting. Next up on New Day, getting a jump start on winter weather to protect your house after this.